Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bick, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the joy of music. Today we have a very special program because we are going to follow the instructions of the Psalms that tell us to praise the Lord with the organ. I think it's very appropriate to praise Christ, the King of Kings, with the organ, the King of Instruments. Many of you have written as you have watched the program and ask about the great organ here in the Coral Ridge Church. Today I would like to explain this organ to you, to show you how it works, to tell you about the stops and the pipes and the many things that this organ will do. First of all, the organ was built in Italy and it came over in two massive shiploads. There are 6,642 pipes in this organ. Pipes of all sizes. You do not see them all as you look at the great case because most of them are inside. It was very interesting just the other day, one of my listeners, a young man called Jeff Havens, made for me a model of this great organ. He got everything just right, as you can see. The very smallest pipe on the organ is inside the case and it is the size of a pencil. Let me play it for you. The very largest pipe on the organ is 800 pounds and is 40 feet high. And that would be one of these very large pedal pipes in the model or in the real organ, you can see it over here to the left. Now, the lower the sound, the larger the pipe. So this little pipe is a very high sound. But this pipe, which is quite large, is a very low sound. And takes more air for the sound to come out. You see, the organ is like an orchestra. Most all of the sounds and instruments that you have in an orchestra, you also have on an organ. And each individual instrument is on what we call a stop on the organ. Each of these little white knobs is a separate individual orchestral sound. And when you pull the stop, take for instance the flute stop, the sound comes on. When you push the stop in, the sound goes off. And so, as I play the organ today in the program, you will see the stops coming in and out. And the sounds are coming on just as though I were a conductor of a great orchestra and I am asking different instruments to play. I would like to begin today's program by playing a number which features the trumpet family of the organ. Today in the program also, we're going to be showing you the organ and playing the music of the greatest composer for organ, J.S. Bach, who was also a committed Christian, and his music shows forth his faith. And so, let's begin the program by featuring the music of J.S. Bach, Now Thank We All Our God, featuring the great horizontal trumpets of the organ.
On the joy of music today, we are praising the Lord with the organ, with the music of J.S. Bach. We have just heard the great horizontal trumpets of the organ featured, and now we will go to the string sounds of the organ. J.S. Bach has written a wonderful piece about death and dying called Come Sweet Death. J.S. Bach, as the greatest composer for the organ, believed in Christ as his Savior. And he was an evangelical Christian, and he wasn't afraid to say so, either with his life or his music. Secondly, Bach believed in sin, yet he believed in the forgiveness of sin. And thirdly, life to J.S. Bach had three tiers, hell, earth, and heaven. And he believed that the person who had trusted in Christ would live with God forever in heaven. And so when he wrote about death, it was either joyous or he caressed death as though he were looking forward to it. In this composition, Come Sweet Death, Come Blessed Rest, Bach uses the most beautiful stops on the organ, the string stops. And as I play this composition, I will start out with the quietest stops, drawing the different sounds out as I go until the full resources of the organ come into being. At the very end of the piece, I will come down to the very quietest string stop on this great instrument. Come Sweet Death by J.S. Bach.
Here on the great organ at the Coral Ridge Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, we have five keyboards. The largest organ in the world has seven keyboards. And it will be interesting for you to know that not only do we have manuals or keyboards for the hands, we also have a keyboard for the feet, or a pedal board as we call it. The pedal board is the same as the manuals, only of course the notes are larger, so you can play one at a time with the feet. Bach, as the greatest composer for the organ, did very interesting things with the pedal. And in this next piece, Rejoice Ye Christians by Bach, Bach uses the pedal as the melody. It's usually the other way around. The melody is the top note. But now Bach plays the melody with the feet. In the hands, Bach has painted a picture of Christians rejoicing. In the right hand, he has very fast 16th notes and they run all across the keyboards. In the left hand, he makes jumps and leaps all over the keyboard, showing the Christians again rejoicing. As I play this piece, I'm going to be using the symbol stern of the organ, the tiny gold star which stands on top of the case and turns when activated. There are many tiny little bells connected to this cymbal stern. And as you play, they play in the background. This is a very joyous piece. And let's listen now to Rejoice Ye Christians. You have been listening to some of the spectacular sounds of a new and modern organ of our day here at the Coral Ridge Church. I would like, however, for you to hear one of the great organs of Bach's time. Not long ago, I spent some time recording and making a television film on one of the great organs of the world, the St. Bavo organ of the Harlem Holland Cathedral, built in 1737. I would like for you to notice as I play this organ the great gold leaf casework and also the stops that are so difficult to pull out because they are so large and the organ is so difficult to play. And now let's listen to J.S. Bach, If Thou But Suffer God to Guide Thee.
I would like to play now Bach's greatest composition for the organ, the Toccata and Fugue in D minor.
for joining us today on the joy of music. May God richly bless you, and we'll see you again next week.